For the input, we set the grid first. Since our model is a bit large, we increase the number of grid points to 60 in all directions. And reduce the distance between the points to 0.5 meters for a more detailed graphical input. Among the remaining tabs, there are further setting options to help us with the input. Object snap means that the mouse snaps into place as soon as it is near an object. With guidelines and background layers, you can create or import help structures. And under line grid, you can even create your own grid. All of these options are helpful for precise work, but are irrelevant for the calculation and can also be changed later. After we have decided, we start with a graphical rectangular surface. To do this, we click the new rectangular surface icon and see the properties of our slab. The default material is concrete C3037 according to N1992. We can change this by selecting another one in the material library. Create a completely new one. Or edit the selected one. You will often come across these three symbols in our software, so it is best to memorize them immediately. Book. Search library. Yellow asterisk. Create a new hand edit. To enter the thickness of the plate, we first want to change the units in centimeters. To do this, we click the units and decimal places icon and select for surface thickness centimeters from the list. Our plate is 30 centimeters thick. We leave the stiffness at the default setting. After clicking OK, we first make sure that our work plane is in XY. We click the origin, and then enter a slab 8 meters wide and 12 meters long. Our second slab starts at point 8, 0, 0, and is 12 meters long and 7 meters wide, thus at the point 20, 7, 0. To enter a semicircle at the end of the first plate, we first draw a guideline. We click on new line and we select an arc in the window. We first click on the right node, then on the left, and then enter a radius of 4.45 meters in the dialog box. To enter a uniform plate, we first delete the existing plate and the guideline between the two surfaces by selecting them and clicking delete on the keyboard. We enter a new surface with the same properties graphically by selecting its boundary lines. We close the input with escape or a right click in the work window. Thus, we have completely entered our left surface and go to the vertical components.